In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to make an audio file sound as if it came from one of two devices. The first is we'll make it sound like it's the other end of a phone call, and in the second case, we're, we'll make it sound like it came across an AM radio. In my first clip here, which has no audio track inherent to it, we have a gal on the phone. And I recorded uh, a text that we're going to use as an example of what you would hear when she's listening and the other person is talking and the viewer is eavesdropping on both parts of the conversation. But notice how it doesn't sound like it comes from a phone when I play it normally. Thanks for calling about your prescription. Your new contacts will be ready on Thursday. And then she would begin to respond to that. But that definitely doesn't sound like it's a phone conversation. We can adjust that. We'll show you how. The second is a scene here of a couple on a porch. And in this storyline, we want them to be alerted to the fact that the hurricane's coming. So that will affect their behavior. But when we play it, it doesn't sound like a radio voice. Weather alert from KSTP. We have a hurricane watch in effect. We okay, so that really, the, the audio might be fine in terms of content, but it doesn't sound like what you'd hear if it were real. What we're going to do is we're going to look at a tool that we have in CyberLink PowerDirector to help modify those. I'm going to click on the phone call clip and highlight it and click on edit audio. And the tool we're going to be looking at is the Wave Editor. Now, if you're a user of PowerDirector, you'll have both of these options available. That doesn't guarantee that you have both programs in your computer because the Audio Director is an add-on program. It doesn't come with the baseline program. Sometimes in a promotion, they will add it or you can buy it separately. So if you don't have it and click on it, it will basically take you to a screen inviting you to buy it. But the Wave Editor is different. It's a subset of these tools that's built into most recent versions of CyberLink PowerDirector. So let's click on the Wave Editor for our phone call and see what we can do. When I get into this screen, it pops up and I have my Wave Editor controls. We have some typical things. We have a play here. We have a pause. We have a stop. We have a button at the bottom to play looped. We can play from the current position. We can magnify by clicking here. And we can click on the second button from the left to show the entire track. Uh, we can go ahead and cut this and do other things. But in this exercise, we're going to look at some special effects based on radio or phone. We'll do the phone call on this one. Now, there's two ways to get to the special effects. I don't understand why they have the second uh, because the first seems to work pretty good. And that's just going down to the special area on the left. If the down arrow is not visible, you can click the right arrow by special. And the third one from that is phone. Or you can click on the effects tab at the top, click on special, and there go to phone. It takes you to the same screen. Whichever you prefer, you can use it. Now, when I click on the phone effect, it gives me two options. One is called on the phone. The other is on a speaker phone. And the sound is supposed to be slightly different. I can't tell a huge difference between the two, but we'll show you. Uh, we also have several buttons. We have a preview button. If you do not click on the preview button, you will not hear the effect and how it influences your audio track. So I'm going to click that on. Then we have a play button and we have a stop button. So I'm going to take this and again, I'll turn off the preview. We'll hear it as it currently exists. Thanks for calling about your prescription. Your new contacts will be ready on Thursday. Okay, now let's click on the preview button with the on the phone checked. Thanks for calling about your prescription. Your new contacts will be ready on Thursday. So we have a bit of a different sound here with on the phone. Maybe you can tell the difference with on a speaker phone. We'll listen to that again. Thanks for calling about your prescription. Your new contacts will be ready on Thursday. 
I can't tell a huge difference between the two. So I'll take either one. I'll go back to the on the phone. And then I can click on cancel or OK. When I click on OK, it will create a new copy of the sound file. Again, it won't damage the original one, but it will create a subcategory copy. I'll click on OK here. And now I have it. All I need to do to activate it is click on the X in the upper right corner. And it will ask me if I want to save the changes. I'll say yes. Now I'm back to my original and you notice it renamed it. Mine's capture 62.0 or parenthesis zero. Uh, that's because my original file that I aliased as phone call was called capture 62. And I can go ahead in my main program and play this and it sounds a little bit better. Thanks for calling about your prescription. Your new contacts will be ready on Thursday. Okay, so we have something that's a little more usable. Again, we could go back into the Wave Editor and tweak it more to our uh, desires. We'll look at some of the finer controls in future lessons. Now let's look at the other option is what if you want a sound to come over the radio. Let's click on Radio Text and I'm going to click on Edit Audio and go to my Wave Editor a second time. When I get into the wave editor here, I see the, the uh, waveform. And now I'll go drag down on the left side and we'll choose um, radio. Here I have more than one option as well. I have an AM radio and an old time radio. Again, we'll highlight the preview button so we can hear it. And here's the first one. Weather alert from KSTP. We have a hurricane watch in effect. We Okay, and then we'll try the old time radio. Weather alert from KSTP. We have a hurricane watch in effect. We urge you to take shelter. Yeah, they are slightly different. I like the AM one right now. It, it, it has a bit more of a tinny sound. And so we'll click on that and we'll click on OK. And we'll see how it changed the waveform. Let me click up here and then with the waveform uh, with the waveform adjusted I'm going to click on the close button I want to save the changes and then it goes back to my main screen and now I have the modified version so if we go back into our project and we want to add to a little bit of drama with a hurricane announcement we'll go ahead and play it weather alert from KSTP we have a hurricane watch in effect we er Okay, so that might give us a little bit closer to an accurate sound. If you're an audiophile, you can go ahead and make it even more accurate, but th this is a simple tool that you can use to emulate either the sound of a phone call or the sound from a radio. Mm -hmm.